Hello, and welcome to the Writing Station's Handwriting Practice Session. Today, we are going to find out what those lines mean on our writing paper. Parents and teachers, you will need to click on the link in the description box to print out a copy of today's writing practice paper. In addition, you will also need crayons, a pencil, scissors, and glue stick. Just a quick note, parents and teachers, we work very hard to bring you high quality videos. Please don't forget to hit the like button, share, and subscribe to this channel. Very important. Thank you. Okay, boys and girls, we're ready to begin with our writing grid. This is our writing grid, and so far we've learned that our writing paper looks very similar to this. We know that the first line is called the skyline. The second line with the dashes is called the plain line. The third line is called the grass line. And the very last line is called the worm line. Boys and girls, you should have your crayons in front of you. Show me blue. Okay, very good. We're ready to start. Okay. Okay, we have our blue crayon and we're going to color the first line blue. When you think of the sky, you think of blue. We're going to color the second line black. This is the line with the dashes. We're just going to put it on the end and move your crayon on down. Okay, show me green, boys and girls. Here's green. We're going to color our third line green. This is the grass line. When you think of grass, what color is grass? Green. And the last line is our show me brown. The last line is brown. And it's our worm line. Worm line. Very good, boys and girls. Okay, now you're going to need your scissors. So get your scissors. We're going to cut out the pictures at the bottom. Take a look at the pictures. We have our skyline, our plain line, our grass line picture, and our worm line picture. We're gonna cut the pictures out. We're going to glue them next to the line that represents the picture. Okay, so let's cut them out. I like to cut out all my pictures at the same time. This way I can work quickly and I don't have to go back and forth cutting because if I cut them all out at once, I will have all of them ready to go. And you don't have to be a perfect, it doesn't have to be a perfect cut. Just make sure that you don't cut the picture. Okay, I have my four pictures ready to go. Now I need my glue stick and you'll need yours too. Okay, and we're not going to use much glue, boys and girls. It doesn't take much. Just one swirl, a couple of swirls, one swirl, and that's it. Don't forget to put the glue top back on your glue stick. 
Now, our first line, as you remember, is our skyline. So we're going to take the picture that looks like a cloud and glue it there. That represents the sky. The next line, do you remember what it's called? The plain line. Very good, the plain line. What is the third line called? The grass line. Boys and girls, you're so smart. It's the grass line. And the last line is the worm line. Okay. The next thing we're going to do, take a look at the letter. Who knows what letter that is? L. If you said L, you are absolutely right, boys and girls. This is the uppercase L and the lowercase L. How many strokes does it take to make the uppercase L? One, two, only two strokes. How many strokes does it make take to make the lowercase L? Just one line, one stroke. How about that? Okay, so the uppercase L is a skyline letter. It starts right here at the skyline and it moves all the way down to the grass line. Then you're gonna move over. Okay, watch me, you're, wa you're watching. I'm gonna start at the skyline, go all the way down to the grass line and then move to my right. Just like that, your turn. Skyline, move all the way down, just trace the dotted line and then to your right. Very good. Now, the lowercase L is just one line and it's a skyline letter or a tall letter. Sometimes we call them tall letters. Okay, so skyline all the way down to the grass line. And that's it. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Let's see if we can do it all by ourselves. All the way down and over. And then all the way down. Let's do one more. All the way down to the grass line and over. And then all the way down to the grass line. Huh, how about that, boys and girls? That was fun, fun, fun. Okay, now it's time to color our pictures. The skyline gets blue. The cloud, we're going to color it blue. Just like we colored the line blue. The plain line, we're going to color that black. Just like we colored the line. The plain black. The grass is green. And you can color your flower any color that you want. The last line, the worm line, we're gonna color this little guy brown. And that's it, boys and girls. Great job. See you next time.